Okay. If you want to go on a big, beautiful, exciting bike trip, but fear is holding you back, this video is for you. Hey friends, Sheila here. Consider this a more impromptu, casual video. I want to get a video out for you tomorrow, but I've really struggled to film it today. If you watched my last video, I shared that this little muffin here, that's cheesecake, she had a recent diagnosis that has been kind of hard. And I don't know about you, but I find when I'm hit with something emotional, I'm not very good at like compartmentalizing. It kind of spills out and I end up just kind of feeling moody in like all areas of life. And knowing that Cheesecake has some serious health issues just makes it um, hard for me to focus. But I really, really wanted to get this video done. So this is a bit of an unusual video style. If you are new here, you can go check out some of my more planned, maybe more professional looking videos. If you are a regular here, thank you for being here. I hope you will excuse the casualness of this video. But the information is gonna be good, I swear, I think. I swear, we'll see, I can't promise. So, and if you are new here, hey, I'm Sheila, I'm a bicycle traveler, and when I'm not on the road, I work in a bike shop, and when I'm not in a bike shop, I am home with my partner and my pets and my plants. Thanks for being here. Today, I wanted to talk about fear and bike touring, specifically the fear that keeps us from our first or our biggest bike tour that we are so excited about doing and we know we wanna do, but our fears are kind of taking the driver's seat. Taking the wheel? They're in the driver's seat. The fear is in the driver's seat and it has the wheel. So today I'm gonna to share three things that helped me navigate fear before my first big bike trip. And these are strategies I still use to this day. Number one is easing your way in. When you picture your dream bike tour and that little kind of fear bubbles up inside you, think about those things that you're afraid of. And are there ways that you could reduce some of those things that feel a little scary? For instance, before my first bike tour ever, some of the things I was scared of was traveling solo for the first time, you know, feeling isolated, not speaking the language, not knowing how to communicate with those around me and feeling really alone. I was scared of camping on my own for the first time. And I was scared of being on a lot of different roads with maybe different road rules, different road behaviors, you know, maybe getting in an accident on my bike. And so I decided to start my first bike tour in Scotland. This was a place that spoke English. There wasn't going to be a language barrier. My background is Scottish, so I grew up with a lot of Scottish traditions, so I felt a bit of a kinship. They have a good amount of cycling infrastructure in Scotland, and wild camping is even legal. This helped me feel a little less scared. It reduced the things that I was scared about. If you think about the things that you're scared of on one hand versus the things that you're excited about on the other, this helped me kind of tip the scales towards more excitement than fear, which allowed me to just get out there and do the damn thing. Once I built up some confidence in Scotland, then I started cycling places where I didn't speak the language and there wasn't as much cycling infrastructure. But because I had slowly built up some of those skills, it didn't overwhelm me in the same way. I was able to add in little things in a way that felt more exciting than scary. So I'd encourage you to think about the things that you're afraid of and are there some ways that you could minimize those fears so you can feel more excitement. How can you ease your way into this big, beautiful experience you want to have? What did I scribble here? Huh? Number two is to arm yourself with information and skills. So now that in part one, you've kind of identified some of those things that feel a little bit scary, how can you build up some skills and some information in those areas to make them feel less scary? Or to at least know if it's something that you do need to be afraid of. So for instance, if you're scared of biking in a new place on a lot of different roadways that aren't familiar, can you build up some skills on your bicycle so that you feel really confident on your bicycle when you're riding? Can you look up 
bike lanes and cycle paths and resources that are going to help you get into places that are going to feel safer in this place that you're going. Or if you're planning to camp and the idea of wildlife feels scary, can you do some research on what types of animals are realistically there and what are the best practices to interact with those animals? We can have this sense in our minds swirling around that it all just kind of feels scary, but when we start to break things down and do some research and build up some physical skills in the world in practice, it can be so helpful. And then number three, Reframe fear as your friend. Fear is really just our bodies and our minds trying to alert us to potential danger. Our bodies want to keep us alive and that means they are going to be looking for threats and trying to make us aware of those threats so that we can survive that potentially dangerous encounter. That's pretty cool. But instead of letting that fear fully control us, we can look at it as a helpful friend and say, hey, what are you trying to tell me? What do you see as the danger? And then going back to what we talked about before, could I build up some skills and resources and knowledge that this wouldn't be as dangerous, that I would be able to support myself to still have this big dream I wanna have, but do it in a safer way. And are there ways I can ease my way in? Could I take out some of those things that feel too scary right now? But again, right, just kind of thanking that fear, it's not the enemy, it's just something that's trying to keep us safe. So how can we kind of bring it in and make it a little teammate as we build our way towards planning a big, exciting, beautiful, wonderful bicycle adventure? Okay, those are three things that have helped me in kind of overcoming my initial doubts and fears and getting myself going towards bicycle adventures that have meant so much to me. I think we should all give a big thank you to Cheesecake here who completely chilled while I just rambled for a while. Normally, as soon as I start talking to a camera or a phone or anything, she insists on biting me uh, to get my attention. So she really did us a solid today. Thank you for being here for my less professional setup. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons. If you're curious, come check out Patreon. I would love to have you there. Thanks for being here. See you in the next one. Bye.